Hello, my friends. It's me, Julie. It is Black Friday today, 2022, and I have another Black Friday surprise for you before we get there, and you definitely want to get there, so stay tuned. <laughs> I want to do a couple things. First of all, you guys, we're almost to 200 subscribers. I checked right before I went on, and we were at 189, and when we get to 200, we're giving away this gorgeous moonstone ring. It is sized at a seven right now, but it is adjustable. So hopefully everybody will be able to wear it. And I'm so excited about it. So, so excited. Um, and I wanted to thank Beverly. Beverly is my buddy, Beverly Sutton. And she put a cool comment out um, telling everybody to subscribe. And I was so grateful for that. So thank you, Beverly. Appreciate you. Um, and then I wanted to just talk about these KJL earrings that we found a couple videos ago. I forgot to put in the description um, information about them. I'm going to sell them for $30. Now, I went online and found this incredible lady on eBay um, that is selling this exact pair that puts so much effort into her eBay listings. Holy cow. There's so much information about this kind of cross I believe it's called a falcon cross. <laughs> I started to try to think about what it said um, as I was sitting down. It wasn't a good idea. But I know these are V's for victory in the cross. Um, there's information about KJL. So if you can find her, um, I'm trying to think of her name. I think it's the Vintage Inquisitor. Um, it would be really cool. Like it was incredible. I was thinking of reading it to you, but it was huge. <laughs> so anyway, $30 on the KJL earring. She's selling hers for 62. So I think that's a pretty good deal. I didn't see that style anywhere else. And this bar, um, it's a little bit better than other tie bars. It's called the giant grip and I'll, I'll just do it for five though. It has the, um, uh, American Legion, uh, thinger on there. <laughs> Very technical term, thinger. Okay. Um, so thank you guys, all of you that purchased in my sterling videos. It was incredible. And I thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And um, another YouTuber purchased in from my sterling video, uh, Dragonfly Bees, Susie. And I just wanted to shout her out. She has more followers than me, but just as a thank you, you guys, if you're not following Susie, definitely go follow her. And I appreciate each and every one of you for sure. Okay. Oh, sorry. One more thing. I promise this will be the last thing. Some people were having issues paying with a credit card from the PayPal invoice. So what I did is I set up Square. Square is a credit card processing company. It's what I used in my, it used in my boring job if I need to process a credit card from a customer. So I set up a Square account. On Square, when you get an invoice from Square, you can pay with a credit card, Google Pay, Apple Pay. PayPal, you're supposed to be able to pay with PayPal or a credit card, but I had three people not able to do it. I tried it myself and it works, so I'm not sure what the problem is. But when you're um, when you're wanting to buy something, when you send your email to me, which is all in the description, send me the timestamp of the item, the description of the item, and then um, give me your name and address, your PayPal, um, PayPal email, if it's different from the email above, um, if you want to pay with PayPal and if you want to pay with a credit card, just tell me I'm paying with a credit card and I'm just going to send a square invoice and I think it will avoid all that trouble. Or if you want to pay Google pay or Apple pay, say you want a square invoice. I'll put that down in the description too, guys. So you have it. Okay. So here, here is the exciting news guys. I don't know how much of this we're going to get through, but I have all of these bags left. It's probably going to be mostly earrings. I'm not totally sure. It's these mystery lots. I have not been through them. But the exciting thing is I have found um, the KJL earrings in one of these bags. And I have found Fendi earrings in one of these bags. So the cool thing we're doing today, are you ready? Anything that comes out of these bags today, no matter what it is, is $2 or less. So if some Fendi earrings come out, they're two bucks. Okay, guys, it's gonna be awesome. It's a Black Friday deal, and I think it's gonna be so fun. So let's just get moving and see what we've got. And I said $2 or less, because some of it will probably end up in craft, so then it'll be less than $2. Okay, let's see what we've got. It looks like some little mother of pearl earrings. Oops, come on. I put lotion on and the bags are sticking to me. 
Oh, guys, these are so cute. Little Mother of Pearl Seahorses, gold tone. They're so cute. I don't think they're marked. $2. Um, these are going to go in craft. So just a dollar, a little red, white, and blue patriotic. Uh, let's see. And maybe they'll be non-craft that's a dollar. I mean, those really aren't craft. There's nothing wrong with them, but... Okay, I'm probably going to put these in craft also for a dollar. Actually, I'm not going to put those in craft because they're perfect, but they're a dollar. I've been thinking about doing some earring jars mystery lots for you guys, lotting up a whole bunch of earrings um, in a mystery jar uh, and see if anybody, any takers want to buy a couple, couple of them. I have lots of canning jars. I canned for one season. <laughs> And it was so much work and I was like, I'm not doing this again. So I figured I could turn them into earring jars. <laughs> okay, these are really cute guys, um, $2. Okay, remember everything coming out is $2 or less. I think these studs are gonna be a dollar. Dollar for the studs. Let's just check if they're magnetic. Oh boy. That could mean they're stainless steel because stainless steel is not magnetic. Something you learn when you get a stainless steel fridge. But I think they've fixed it now for people. Um, but my old stainless steel fridge, actually my new one too, I think. Um, you can't have magnets stick to it. <laughs> so nothing goes on your fridge. Guys, these could be sterling. Sterling for a dollar. I'm not sure. Um, let me. I'm just looking up close. I will test them at the end. What the heck? They're probably stainless steel, but we'll test them. Okay. So, finding timestamps, guys. This is a good little discussion we can have while we're doing this. Oh, these are cute. Little flowers. Flower dangles. $2. Let's magnet them. Oh, yeah. The magnet likes them. Okay, so timestamps. When I ask you or another YouTuber asks you to find a timestamp, I know sometimes people don't know what that means. And I don't want anybody to ever feel bad about asking. Always ask your question. I am all about like learning and teaching each other and like the comments that people leave that help me, I appreciate so, so much. Um, so same, same to you guys. I will be happy to answer any question even if it may have been answered before. These are really pretty, $2. And the ear wires look like they might be sterling. I think the ear wires are sterling. We'll test those too. So anyway, getting a timestamp. If you are watching on a tablet or an iPhone, uh, phone, excuse me, a mobile device, some kind of mobile, de mobile device, you can press pause on your video, just a dollar. Press pause on your video. And down at the bottom, it's gonna show you your play bar and it will show you how far you've watched and what you have left to watch. That little play bar at the bottom. Well, wherever you are in the video, there's gonna be a sequence of numbers, okay? The first set of numbers will say something like 45 and then the dot dot, which I think is a colon, dot dot, and then 32. And what that means is 45 minutes and 32 seconds in is where I saw the item I like. That is your timestamp. The second number might say something like um, 5249. And what the second number is, is actually um, the time that the video runs for. So 52 minutes and 49 seconds. So you can get that by pushing, I think, I'm just gonna look here guys, Monet, they're Monet. $2 Monet earrings, gorgeous. Um, so on mobile devices, just push pause, and that's how you can get there, okay? And if you know all this, mute me. <laughs> if you are, oh boy, I see some really good earrings gonna come out for $2. Oh, Nelly, you guys. <laughs> this is so fun. Um, Guys, this one's got wear. It, uh, it honestly, yeah, well, I don't know. This one's got a lot of wear. We're gonna go and craft on those. Anything in craft is a dollar. Okay. So if you're watching on a TV, push pause on your remote or on your TV, you can see the same numbers, okay? If you're watching on your um, on a computer, same thing, push pause, you'll see the numbers, okay? And that should help you. Um, so that's timestamp. 
description, if you were going to give me a description, um, this timestamp right now is 10 minutes, 5 seconds. So I would write 10 dot dot, which I think is a colon, 05. And I would say abalone, which is faux abalone, but that's okay. Abalone, heart earrings, um, and that will help me find it. And if you put the price I put for it, I mean, that is fantastic too. That helps me a lot. Um, $2 on these guys. And then just the other info I need um, is your name and address so I can get shipping quotes, okay? I didn't check those for Sterling. I don't think they are, but let's just hit them with the magnet. You know what I always say, better safe than sorry. How about these guys? Yep, not Sterling. These ones, these studs are gonna be just a dollar. They're pink and they're really pretty. They're in good condition. Okay, so the other information I need is your name and address because um, a lot of times your, um, your email doesn't tell me your name. So your name, full name and address for shipping. Um, are these in good shape? I mean, they're okay. I'm not in love. Let's put them in craft for a dollar. And then I can get you a shipping quote. I'm leaving those really good ones for last. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cool. I bet they're probably close to a $15 earring, I would think. Little studs. Let's check them for sterling. Um, stop rolling around. I cannot wait, you guys, for, um, I'm taking a little vacation the first week of December. And just a dollar on these. It's a staycation. My husband and I don't go away very often because we have three dogs, so it's hard. We are going to go see his grandfather at some point because he just got moved into a nursing home. So we're going to make sure we do that. Um, so anyway, I'm so excited. My vacation is going to be devoted to reselling. I am going to get some of the things that haven't sold put on eBay. These are cute. They kind of, are they, um, oh, they're worn. I was thinking they were more of a pewter color, guys. These are worn, craft, dollar. Um, and I'm going to get my filming area set up, and I'm so excited about that. That's why I was talking about that rolling that's happening. That shouldn't happen anymore. <laughs> Um, okay, so name and address for shipping. Back to my talking. Name and address for shipping. Um, your PayPal address, uh, email address, if it's different from your email you're emailing me from and you want to pay with PayPal. If you'd like to pay with a credit card, tell me that and we'll put it through. Um, I have such a hard time reading these things, guys. Is it the Florian? I'm going to try... Is my loop here? Here it is. I'm going to look off camera, guys, because sometimes I can do better here. Uh, I am still having a hard time. Holy cow. Um, give me two more seconds, okay? I'm going to turn the light on on my loop, which gives me a headache every time it turns on. I don't know why. So I didn't want to, but I'm going to. Okay, I still don't have it. I still don't have it, guys. These are marked, and they're very pretty, and I don't know what they are, but they're $2. I'm sorry, I just can't read it, and I don't want to waste more of your time. $2, gorgeous, beautiful condition. Um, I think that's everything, and my email is in the description. It's mymamaandme at outlook.com. Ooh! Ooh, like faux opal, I think, guys. Really cool. Two dollars. This is fun. A two dollar special. A two dollar hauler. KC, Kenneth Cole. Two dollars. Good condition. Some hoopers. Two dollars. And here's what I was waiting for. I believe these beads are called wedding cake beads. And I just bought a whole bunch in that crazy vintage lot that is going to be coming to me. So these look like vintage wedding cake beads. They are glass. They are stunning. They should be more than $2 for sure, but they are $2 today for you guys. Snap them up. $2. Okay, let me just clear the decks because we've got bags upon bags upon bags so i'm so excited you guys um i don't know if i told you this or not but my niece 
um, is coming today. And um, I'm so excited because we have this tradition where she and I cook the things that I'm bringing to Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh, no, just Thanksgiving, sorry. Um, Thanksgiving um, the morning of. And my family is doing Thanksgiving tomorrow, um, our meal together. So um, she w used to live close and would always come and help me cook. Ew. Yuckies, guys. That's yuckies. That's going to go in the trash because I don't want to infect anything. Um, and she lives in Maine now, which isn't super far, like 45 minutes or so. 40 minutes. Um, I'm just going to do a dollar on these. And she called me to ask me, um, to tell me, basically, um, Louie, that's what they call me. Louie, um, I've got a ride so I can come and cook with you, um, and do our tradition. And literally, I almost started crying. Like, she's 21 years old. Um, and, you know, I'm not as cool as I used to be, you know, but I guess I'm still a little cool. <laughs> Two dollars. These are cute. So I'm so excited. She's coming today and I am doing a whatnot auction today at 3 p.m. Um, and she's going to be here for that. And I've never had anybody with me when I did a whatnot auction. These are, um, kind of cheapos guys. If somebody wants some, they're in craft. And if you buy something else, I'll just give them to you for free. How's that? So I'm excited for that too. And then my nephew, um, needed a place to stay tonight. Um, he moved a couple hours away. So he and his, um, fiance are going to be staying here too. So, I get all my kids and I'm so excited. You guys, I really, really like this, but I think it, it's so hard to tell sometimes when there's wear all over something, it almost looks like it's meant to be that way. Um, I'm not sure. There it is. $2. There's definitely wear. See how it's supposed to be goldish? But it is literally all over it. <laughs> I'm going to do $2 on it. It's really cool looking. So I don't have any children myself. Um, my sister has six children. I probably have told you this before. Round one and round two. She has three in their 20s and three under 10. Those are pretty. I thought they were marked, but it's fibbing to me. Not marked. $2. So um, the older, and my sister-in-law has two kids who I also love to death. Um, my the older kids um, of my sisters always lived really close by um, so I was super involved in their lives my nephew who's coming tonight lived with us on and off for years and years so they are like my children to me and I'm just so thankful they're coming <laughs> I'm sorry I've been rambling on forever about this but I'm very excited um, these look vintagey a little worn possibly let's just do a dollar on those okay guys sorry if they were hard to see I was trying okay so oh those are cute little rainbow studs those are cute I might set them aside for my niece I think she would like these okay and my sister's second round of kids and uh, my my sister-in-law's kids are the same age as my sister's first round of kids. So they were all close growing up, too. I made sure that happened, which has been awesome. Um, those, I'm tempted to say those could be gold, guys. Just because a lot of the thinner, um, lighter earrings sometimes will be gold. Okay, not gold, and I'm going to do $2. Um... What was I going to say? I don't know. I've been babbling your ears off today. Sorry. If you just want the jewelry, mute me. <laughs> Put on subtitles. I've been trying to make subtitles included. Look at this has been repaired. Do you see here? I add subtitles, but then you guys don't get subtitles on my video. So I'm not sure what's happening with that. I have to figure that out. Oh, the younger kids. That's what I was going to say. So the younger round of kids are with her um, second husband who's in the army. So unfortunately, a lot of their life, they haven't been close to me um, distance wise, um, which really stinks. So I haven't been able to spend as much time with them as I would have liked. 
Um, I feel like this says NH. Um, let's look with our little lens. I'm going to have to ask Kristen D what she uses for her little lens because I think it works better than mine. NH. Um, let's do $2 on there. There is some wear on the back, guys. So they're home right now. They've been living in Maine, which is close enough to be home for the last three years. So that's been awesome. Um, but they are leaving. They're going to be restationed in like uh, six months, I think. I can't remember. Right after May. Whatever that is, guys. <laughs> Those are cute. These would be awesome for Christmas, right? They kind of look like candy canes. Two dollars. Uh, so just as I've gotten close to the boys again, <laughs> the la second round are all boys. They're going to be heading across country somewhere. Who knows where they've been stationed in Kansas before and Oklahoma and now here in Maine these are cute guys two dollars two dollars get moving Julie because they want to find a bargain and you have to move it for them um I'm seeing a lot of wear craft craft I've been talking so much that we're not going as fast as we should huh Maybe I should have opened all these baggies, but then I didn't want you guys to think that I peeked through. <laughs> My husband's like, "Hun, what if there's something really good in there? And I'm like, I don't care. I'm doing it. It's going to be fun. He's like, you want me to look through? I said, no, that's cheating. <laughs> $2. I'm like, no cheating. We're doing it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> so guys, I've been working on this vintage lot that I've been telling you about. I got... A whole bunch already and then I went back to the lady it's basically her lifelong collection of jewelry Ooh, those didn't want to come out uh, good condition two dollars and I basically have bought it all if I'm honest um, the first round I've gotten to look at and it's incredible Juliana brooches in there uh, just incredible stuff some lower dollar things but it's it's just beautiful it's all vintage and it's beautiful um, we'll just do a dollar on these. They have a tiny bit of wear, not a ton. Um, should I have magneted those? They are most likely not sterling. <laughs> okay. So I have been on, um, chatting with her cause she's a little bit of a distance away from me every day, looking at pictures and making offers and counter offers and all of that. And Oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. That's just a dollar, guys. They don't look good, actually. Let's put them in craft. They're two different colors at this point. Um, and I'm so excited to bring it to you. It's going to be a vintage extravaganza. Um, some of the things I had to pay up, like, it's not going to be, like, a vintage bargain extravaganza. But it is going to be, I need to get my hands on this extra vintage. guys I'm sorry the light is still on on my um loop and I could see it over there it's driving me crazy okay sorry um do you think these are faux I would guess yes faux pearl one dollar so it's definitely going to be a vintage extravaganza if you're a vintage lover a vintage collector this is the these are going to be the best videos for you these are glass guys two dollars they're going to be incredible because the things coming out of this collection haven't been seen in years she herself hasn't even looked at any of it in 20 years um we just went through all this vintage mother of pearl um vintage copper there's been a rhin rhinestones like mad trafari like mad okay new bag Ooh, no baggies let's do it this will go quicker for you cute little screw backs two dollars speaking of mother of pearl <laughs> clippies two dollars um new on card possibly clippies remember these from like the 80s and 90s for sure two dollars um little a button um, okay, I'm pulling the wrong earrings. Sorry. Little button clippies. Faux pearl. Are these shaped pearls ever real? I'm not sure about that. 
Somebody tell me. I learned so much from you guys. Two dollars. Two dollars on these guys. Nope, I lied. That's pretty yucky. Let's go in craft. Oh, some rhinestones. <gasps> Ooh, those are pretty. Those are more worth more than two dollars, but they're two dollars. <laughs> some more rhinestone clippies. Uh, two dollars. Gorgeousness. Woohoo! I'm glad you guys are finding stuff. I hope you snap them up. Okay, two dollars on these clippies. Got some other rhinestone screwbacks. These are a little lighter weight, guys, but $2. I like to tell you when something's a little lighter, so you know, so you're not surprised. Oh, these are pretty, guys. Wait till you see what I'm grabbing. These look like they would have had a necklace with them, doesn't it? I bet they did at one point. They are screwbacks. I don't see a name. $2, really pretty. Oh, I've got my question of the day. I didn't plan. I got one. It came to me. A <laughs> um, little bit of wear. We'll do a dollar on those. They're like oval-shaped half hoops. Uh, let's see what these are. Clippies. And they're missing stones. So, craft. Oh, boy. That didn't hit the craft box. <laughs> I'm going to do a dollar on these guys. I think they're glass. Yep. Pretty sure. Got some shell, a dollar. Okay, I think these have a name. They do. R-M-N. R-M-N. Okay, is that an Avon line? Am I thinking right, guys? Tell me, definitely tell me. Let's say, are they real? So, but very, very pretty. R-M-N. Hmm, that might be Avon. $2. Oh, look, I'm gonna take these apart so you can get the full, full deal. I hope you guys all had a happy Thanksgiving yesterday. It's weird for me because tomorrow's Thanksgiving for me, so I keep forgetting to like remember people celebrated yesterday. And those of you who live in other countries, I have forgotten that you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so I just hope you had a happy day. <laughs> these are really pretty, guys, $2, anything on them? those should be marked those are designer that should be those are why are you not designer oh pretty two dollars and they are clippies pretty enamel clips 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 okay and we've got just clippies oh interesting i'll set these aside in case something ever needs one of those Oh, you guys, I should show you something. Yeah, I will. I'll be able to get it fast. It won't be a part of our $2 deal. $2 on these. Really cute. And they are clips. Okay, we can go to a new bag. Let's go. Move faster. Find deals. That's the goal today. Find the deals. Silver tone hoops. $2. Uh-oh, I picked one of the bags again, guys. Not everything, though. Hopefully we can go fast. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, and they are post. I was going to say clippy. Guys, they're KJL. Oh my gosh. Somebody snap these up. KJLs. Kenneth J. Lane, guys. $2. Are all the rhinestones there? Okay, that's a bargain. Someone grab them. Grab them, grab them, grab them. <laughs> and if you're going to pay shipping on it, grab some others that look cool to you. <laughs> Might as well, right? I always think that when I'm paying shipping, like make it more worth my while, make the shipping per item lower. Just gonna do a dollar on those guys. Post earrings. KJLs and some wedding cake glass. So good so far. Ooh, I like these. They're pretty guys. They're not marked. Okay, these are a why are you not marked earring for sure. $2 posts. What are these? Ooh, look at this. Very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, tiny bit of wear, guys. I don't think it's awful. More needs a clean, $2. Okay, we got some hammered hoops, $2. 
Well, we definitely found a bargain in this bag. I think there's been one bargain in each bag so far because we've got some sterling up here from the first bag. Uh, $2. I'm just going to throw these in craft, guys. Actually, let's see if we've got any sterling on them. Oh, yeah. No sterling. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> okay, Forever 21 little rings. Do they say the size on the back? I think they're a size 7. Let's look. I bet that's right. Should we throw the thing in it? The finger thinger? How about the mandrel, Julie? No, it's not a size 7. I'm glad we did. Um, Actually, it probably is because it has that little thing through it. I'm going to guess just under a 7 or a 7. Someone paid a dollar. I'm going to charge 2 because I think they're worth it. Um, okay. Well, let's see what we've got here. These are going to be hard to get out. Do you guys deal with the baggies where the earring post went? I'm just going to stop. $2 on these. They're really pretty. Uh, going in... Actually, we'll keep them. Dollar. Dollar on these. Let's make sure it's not sterling. Nope. Uh, these are the same as the ones I already showed, guys. Just a dollar. Actually, no. What I said was, if you buy something and you want these, tell me and I'll throw them in. They're pretty lightweight. Uh, let's see. These look like earrings maybe somebody got pierced with, possibly. Let's say, let's say. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? Um, I'm probably just going to throw these in craft. So if anybody wants them, a dollar. Okay, that is annoying. Where my craft bucket is now is not working. <laughs> I'm going to have a craft attack on the floor. A craft a lanch of stuff. Glass earrings, two dollars. Check the hooks, not sterling. Okay, what time is it? Okay, we're 32 minutes in, guys. I usually try to go 45, so I'm trying to move it. Move it for some deals. Oh my goodness, as I'm saying that, I cannot get this out. It looks like we have a little cat's eye earring here. Let's see. Yeah, see it? Ooh, it's following you. It's putting you in a trance. Buy me. <laughs> Just kidding. Only if you love it. Only ever buy unless if you love it. Or someone you know will love it. Okay. Awesome. $2. Uh, let's see. Ooh, these are nice. These are good quality, guys. Got a little bit of weight to them. I don't see a name on them. $2. Got some kind of cha-cha earrings. And they have wear. So let's see if I can hit the craft bin. Do you think I'm going to get it? Uh, not sure. Um, a dollar. Actually, hold on, guys. I think that's lapis at the bottom. Let's look more closely. They are cool to the touch. Yeah, that's lapis. Ooh, those are pretty. I'll keep them at a dollar for you, though. Feeling the Thanksgiving spirit. They're going to go in craft. Dollar. If anybody's interested. So, guys, I want to tell you something, and I'm, I'm being, this is not even corny, this isn't made up or anything like that. I am really, really thankful for you guys, <laughs> for my Christmas thankfulness. You guys have been so kind and welcoming and wonderful to me. Just a dollar on these. And I was so scared. I've been wanting to do YouTube for three years. I think I've told you this. I was so scared. These are those same ones. If you want them and you buy something, I'll give them to you for free. Um... And it's been so wonderful so far, and I'm so grateful and thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for all the comments. I absolutely love them. I like get first thing I do in the morning is check my comments. I'm like, I gotta see, I gotta see. I absolutely love it. Okay, so it looks like a Red Hat Society stretch. Stretches and um, craft. Otherwise, that is gonna blow up. <laughs> No blow-ups. Let's do a dollar on this. It looks like somebody probably made it. It's cute. Should we see if the clasp is sterling? Hmm. No, not sterling. Gotta go slow. Um, little button clips. We'll just do a dollar on those. Button clips. Oh, look. Are these like a moon glow? 
Guys, school me on this, please. I think this is called Moon Glow. And I have some that I've purchased that's coming, so I would love to know. I'll do $2 on the Moon Glow, I think. The I think it's Moon Glow earrings. <laughs> These aren't in great shape. Not in great shape. Going in craft. So when I was looking up KJL earrings, going in craft, the other ones had little dangles. Okay, we've got a lot of craft we can pull out. All of these little crafty, crafty guys. Um, when I was looking up KJL, I didn't realize that he designed for Avon for a little while, a long while. I don't know, but some of it said KJL for Avon. I didn't know that. Little button clips, um, $2. Ooh, enamel clippies. Let's see if they're signed. Nope, $2. Um, oh, do you say something, guys? Japan? Um, let's try to see. Yep, Japan. A little screw backs. Um, they're a little dirty. Is that fair degree? Yeah, guys, these are too dirty. Those are going to go in the trash so they don't infect my craft a lot. All right, we're getting there on this bag. I think we'll be able to do one more bag. Oh boy, how am I going to pick? I want to pick a good one for you. There's probably like six or eight left. These are cute. I like these. Cute clips. Two dollars. And I'm making a mess here, but it's because I want to get as much out to you as possible. So you guys might find some bargains. These look really worn. Could it be vermeil? No. Okay, those are going in craft, guys. All right, if they're studs, I'm showing you through the bag. A dollar. A dollar. I mean little studs. Not all posts. Oh, Christmassy? For sure. Look at it. Oh, that was loud. I apologize. That probably sounded really loud. Oh, no, it's missing enamel right here. It might not be a big deal. Look, if they're on either side of your head over here, no one would know. But I'll just do them for a dollar. <laughs> okay, let's check these out. We got some hoopies. Hoopy, 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 hoopies. Um, some wear. These look nice though. And I was going to say these feel like sterling. Let's see if they're marked just because that's fun to do. It's fun to do when you can actually see it. I think that says Italy. Do you guys think so? And I'm pretty sure that's 925 in the circle. Well, let's give them a... Huh. They're fibbers? No, maybe just up here is a Okay, let's try them. We're going to test them. Oh, boy, we have to leave room for testing, too. Um, these are pretty worn. Let's put them in craft. Then I'm not going to hit the bucket. Oh, I think I actually did that time. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, so if you feel like it, come to my webinar auction, you guys. Um, today at 3 o'clock, Trafari. $2 Trafaris. Bargain. Um... Come to my whatnot auction. I'm going to be doing all the sterling at the sale price that you guys have seen. Um, the Black Friday sterling sale price. Oh, these are little cute earrings. Little unicorns. Uh, $2. Okay, we got some button clips. And then I'm going to pick one more bag. And I'm going to fly through it. Uh, pretty worn. Going to make it into craft. Ah, uh, guys, I think I got the craft shot down now. Okay, this bag doesn't have little baggies. So that's why I chose this one. Hopefully it's a good one. Excuse me while I clear the decks just a tiny bit, you guys. Because if I don't, we're not going to be able Oh, I missed something. Necklace, I think. So you guys, you know how I've been, I've been doing all the testing on the silver and stuff? Well, my little trash barrel down here that I have under the desk, that's where I throw all the papers. Well, it's probably like resin. I'm not totally sure. Mini clips. These are cute, actually. I think they're really pretty. Okay, $2. Um, well, I went to empty the trash yesterday, <laughs> and the acid is like eating the inside of the trash barrel. So be really careful with that, guys. <laughs> 
it's no joke. It's no joke. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are you kidding? Guys, that says Whiting and Davis. And guess how much they are. Just for you, my special specials. Oh my gosh, they're not the same. <gasps> you guys, that's so sad. Oh my gosh, they're not the same. They have to go and craft. I'm just going to stick these to the side because I have more bags and maybe she matched them up. Or she or he matched them up incorrectly. Maybe we'll find it. If we find it, I will do Whiting and Davis for $2. I will honor it for you because that is awesome. Okay, guys, just $2 on these. These are in really nice shape. They've got good weight. Maybe a little bit of scratching. These are nice, too. It's like those are in the same family with these with the two-tone metal. Nice condition. I'm surprised these aren't um, signed. These are definitely why are you not signed earrings. I don't think it came on this card. Uh, $2. Got another card here. Same, same family. Those are all in the same family. These are like a trio of sisters right here. $2 a piece. And the other one's there, but not here. You might need to own them all, guys. They're awesome. $2. Seriously can't believe they're not signed. Okay, moving on. Not in good condition. Craft. Uh... Cute clippies, $2. Little beads, and I think they're not in good condition. Craft. Ooh, look at some rhinestone clippies. Do rhinestone clip earrings make your heart go pitter-pat? They do mine. Um, so we've got some yellowing, guys, but I think they're pretty cool. $2. Uh, little maybe boho feel. Uh, you see a little bit of glue, I think, right there, guys. I think somebody glued that on. Speaking of glue, I gotta grab that thing to show you. Two dollars. No, a dollar, because you can see glue. Uh, let's see if we can find this one. Okay, I might not be able to. Let's put that aside. Oh boy, look at how nasty these are. Ooh wee, yuck. Okay, gross. Okay, little black metal hoops. They look like they got hair sprayed <laughs> and they're worn. Crafty. Okay, what are these? Ooh, look at the AB stone. Um, they do have a little bit of verdigris though. You guys, ugh, I'm gonna put them to the side. I might clean those myself. Do you remember what I told you guys? Ketchup, ketchup. These are acrylic, not stone. I have some more of these. These must've been popular at one time. Um, in one of my earring boxes. Uh, $2. I'm not really showing them very well. $2. Okay, let's see. Oh man, missing a stone. That's cute. I'm going to put this in my crafty lot for when I make rhinestone -y things. Actually, they both can because I don't care if it's missing a stone on a craft project. These are cute. Let's see if we can get one out to show you a little better. Oh boy, we're at 43 minutes. Um, just acrylic. I don't think this is going to be, um, oh wait, what is going on? Oh, that's the leaf, but wait, it doesn't look good. Something's wrong. Oh yeah, this one has a problem. -o. Okay, craft. <laughs> that one had a pr little problem. It's got a little difficulties. These are cute. I'm going to look out from under. A little wear, guys. Not horrendous. It has a shiny edge, if you're seeing that. Not marked. $2. These have scratches. A dollar. Okay. These are clippy circles. Some scratching. A dollar. Ooh, I like these. I love this stuff right here, guys. Is this called um, filigree when it's like this? Someone school me. Someone help me. Because I love to learn from you guys. Ugh, they're not coming apart. Oh, ooh, it says something. Is it a patent pending? Let's see. Let's see if I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, boy. Have you guys made it out? Sterling! Sterling? <gasps> what? What? 
I think they fib. <laughs> they are pretty though. Let's go $2. Okay, so I need to show you the thing and we need to check Sterling. And oh, whoops, I forgot about this little necklace. Um, really broken and flimsy. Craft, AKA that one really should go in the trash. Okay, let me grab my Sterling test set, guys. And I don't know where I'm going to put the trash from that. I'm gonna have to like keep something for Sterling testing trash. We'll have to figure that out. We'll have to figure that out. Um, okay, so let's try this guy. Um, well, here, we'll do the post, which is not even really scratching. I don't even know how to, if my nails scratch on this, I'm probably going to freak out. <laughs> that would be an awful feeling. Oh my gosh, I did it. Wow. Okay, let's try that. Oh no, I didn't. I lied. I'm pretty sure these are, I don't even see that. <laughs> Sterling ear wires. And let's check these guys. Okay, let's go. You ready? Are we gonna find some more bargains? I should really not do this through the camera. Was this it? No, that wasn't it. That's an old scratch. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay guys, ear wires are sterling on these. $2, those are really pretty. Um, okay, so that's weird. We do have some ster we do have some sterling showing through, but it's not very solid. Um, I'm gonna do another scratch. I tend to think when that happened that it happens, it might be silver plate. Let's do another scratch and see. I usually double check. Oh no, these are definitely sterling. Okay, guys, bargain of the day. Well, maybe not the bargain of the day, but $2 sterling earrings. And these studs are nothing, so I'm actually going to put these in craft. Wow! Will you guys hold on one second? Because I want to show you something so badly, and it's not far away. Um, so, in some of my like early videos, we found this guy. I don't know if you guys remember. Whoops. We found this guy right here. Okay. And it was a mother of pearl necklace. Somebody told me these were also shell. Um, very vintage with a set of clip earrings. And it was ruined from orange glue. And I said, I am going to soak that. It had this kind of glue everywhere, all around all of these pieces. And I said, you know what? I'm going to soak this and just see what happens. And I put it in really hot water. We have one of those water machines and I put it in the hot water that I make my tea with. And then um, I let it soak and look, it's like all off. It worked. I figured I didn't have much to lose cause it was pretty beat up. It did not come off the back here. Um, and there, you, there's tiny remnants of it, but I think it's pretty dang good. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, anyway, I've got my question of the day. My question of the day is, do you wear clip earrings? If yes, I want to know if it's because... Did I already ask this question, guys? I know I've asked it on whatnot. <laughs> if I've already asked it, excuse me. <laughs> do you wear clip earrings? Um, or post earrings. And if you wear clip earrings, is it because you don't have your ears pierced? I'm curious because I know that clip earrings are definitely making a comeback and people are wearing them because they are comfortable. So I'm so curious. Tell me, tell me. Um, and I'm so boring with my earrings. I don't change them. So who knows? I don't know anything about this. <laughs> so tell me guys. And remember, um, uh, I was going to say something about Black Friday, but anyway, the Black Friday extravaganza is over after this video. And remember, you guys can be anything you want in this world. So please choose to be nice. Thanks so much. And I'm thankful and grateful for you.